Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a mini Lego skeleton horde soldier and a warrior. So, let's start. For the skeleton soldiers pieces, you're going to need a regular white head, two of these hands, two legs, two of these, um, and then the the skeleton body, a huge sword, and a dragon shield. So, let's start building. First, we're going to get this, like, the hands, actually, for the legs, but not the legs for the hands. And then, just put the legs in the clips of the hand, so it can be, like, clipped on. Then put the skeleton head, and then you can just put the skeleton aside. Make two of these, like that. Then in one, put a sword, like that. And then in one, put a shield, like that. And then just do it. And then we've got the skeleton horde soldier mega. This isn't just a regular horde soldier, skeleton horde soldier. He's one of the big guys. Usually the skeleton horde soldiers don't have a shield or that very big sword. They don't have a shield, but they do have a small bone axe. So, we'll put that aside. Now we're going to make the warrior. So first we're going to get regular Lego minifigure legs. But the strange thing, we're not going to use a torso though. We're going to get... And then these. Then. And these double sided arms. Double sided stud piece. And then that. And there. This. Alright, yeah. I, I, I think I'm doing it now. <laughs> Actually, we have to do on the opposite side. I did it. So, instead, we're going to put this on this side. Then, put the next, put this on. And then, a head. Next, we're going to need a hel helmet for the warrior. Because he that has a double-sided head. And then, Next, just put this on. That. And put this on there. go so i'm going to be showing you the scout the soul the warriors um power so like right now if the skeleton came and smashed off the warrior's shield so here here it is well I'm actually not going to be showing you with this because I just realized the sword has a bit of a dome shaped at the back. So I'm actually going to be showing you another one that I will make soon. So, as you can see, this one has a little bit of a piece missing, but still it's okay. Just need to freshen up. So, if the skeleton soldier whipped off his shield like that and then his shield fell off he can literally put this on like that but if this also came off you, you can put the sword into there and then like that and then also if i pretend this was dark gray and then put this here and just tilt it right there just a little bit. Um, then it looks like he's holding it with two hands. Just like that. See? 
Just kind of attack the skeleton soldier. So, in fact, this is a higher level. So this is um max um evolve. So this has a little bit of a secret. I'm going to be showing you how to make this and the secret maybe in another video. So if you guys, if this video hits five likes and then four more subscribers, I mean five subscribers and f five four likes, I will make it. Here's the one that I just made right now. Here we go. So, which one do you guys think is stronger? The Mega, the Warrior, or the Soldier? Which one? Well, in fact, the Soldier is stronger, even though he's about to fall if one huge slice goes on him. But, he, of course... This is a first, e third evolve on the skeleton mega horde soldier. He might be able to outstand his mega attack. But this one, this is on uh, uh, evolve four, so this one's a little bit less stronger. So yeah, one slash his shield will come off, but you can just slice it but it won't come off because that's an iron arm it's got more power it's got it's on a clip but this one's on a stud clips are stronger than studs but remember his special power is ball charge so he can just ram into him like that yeah those those likely need to be changed uh so yeah I hope you guys liked it. Subscribe to see my videos. Bye, guys. But don't forget that that soldier over there is ready for you to like and be subscribed. Bye.